beautiful. Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew Heston. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Okay, um, it may have been a while since I've done an update video on my Space Engineers survival world. Um, uh, <laughs> as I've said, um, most of the behind the scenes, basically me actually going around placing blocks, because yes, I am still playing in survival. I refuse to play any other way. Um, I feel, uh, the reason I do that, I feel as though my quality is just that much higher. Maybe not by too much. I, again, I don't know. This is just my preference. Um, cause I have a, I have an over tendency of if I screw up somewhere in the process and I don't know how to fix it with what is currently there, I tend to delete everything and start over. At least with this, and you you do see it um, in the videos, um, well, if you're paying attention to the time lapse as opposed to listening to the classical music I set up with it, but um, a perfect example would be the ice uh, bunker right here where I actually had the containers lowered where the conveyor uh, belts are right here or the fudge are these conveyors okay I'm, I'm used to factorio but you have a case of I had the medium cargo containers lowered by one and I should have done it the other way where the conveyors right here were spaced so that way you can access all the inventories from a singular location. Uh, the reason being is because, as you can see here, I think a cargo ship just spawned, uh, this container does not line up with this one because, well, I don't have to worry about having access to this door. So yeah, it, it, it is the little things, but I digress. Anywho, so, an update. Well, as you can see, we have, uh, well, <laughs> so not much in the forward compartments. Right now, I'm focusing on the mechanicals. So in the Titanic, you had the coal and uh, boiler rooms. Well, in this case, because this is Space Engineers, I have the ice bunkers, which, yes, as much as I hate powering ships with hydrogen, I... Pr I prefer solar panels. Right now, I have 10 800 megawatt solar collectors out across my world gathering energy, and I power everything with batteries, except uh, my industrial ship right here, it, I will admit, is powered by an arc reactor, but limitations, because I use that thing way too much and I needed something compact. Anywho, but I digress. So, yes. So, here you have um, boiler room, well, the oxygen-hydrogen room. One, two, three. Oh, no, wait. I see I need to... Ex oh, I thought that was a conveyor belt. Okay, so, you have uh, ice room one, two... Actually, no, it goes six... Oy. I'm mixed up. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you know your Titanic, it was this compartment that uh, basically dooms the ship. One, two, three, four, technically. So it, the Titanic could have stayed afloat if these four compartments had been flooded and nothing else. But unfortunately, just that tiny little bit of damage in this compartment did her in. But I digress. So, as you can see, though, I am I am still sticking to the blueprints as best as I can. The only problem I'm currently encountering is how do I funnel the smoke? Um, so, that is going to take a little bit of conjiggling, so to speak, to basically get the the trunking correct in order to uh, go to the funnels. Not that I need the funnels. I can easily cut out the funnels and just 
not and maybe have a couple extra rooms but no i want to be as authentic as i possibly can within the limitations of uh, space engineers here so uh limitations being that of uh half a meter sadly um so I do want to do some trunking because anyone who's been with the channel for a while knows I have severe OCD when it comes to my ship designs. Case in point would be the ice bunkers. So here you can see I'm going to utilize as much space as I possibly can. I see a means of utilizing as much space as I possibly can. that and yes this does in also include naming okay so I'm on 31 sorry 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 I I do as I'm going I am naming things so it's not like I'm haphazardly just naming things later down the road when I get to that point, but so yes, basically I want everything to be found it, in an emergency you're able to, so another thing you've noticed, I do have gravity and uh, doors, so if we run over here, I need to paint the floor again Ah, there it is. Oop, lag spike. So yeah, I do have a mod that enables small ship grids to contain things like, uh, you know, gravity generators. Because I do want... This is supposed to be a, a cruise ship or a passenger liner. So you're supposed to be able to, you know, walk around. But I digress. Okay. Uh-oh. This, this room is supposed to be pissing me off. Oh dear, we're operating on battery power. I need more ice. I think. Uh, yep, I... Uh, Crap, 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 crap. And yes, I do have a mod. It, so, yes, I have a mod that lets me carry far more than I should be able to. My justification, all it does is it saves me time. I am spending all this time in survival. It is a quality of life. Yeah. Oh, ignore that. Uh, I need ice. Ice, ice. I'm going to have to mine more ice at some point. So, anywho, um, I keep getting sidetracked. I should structure this better, but... Eh, you're seeing my, my thought process in, uh... Survival. Uh... Right. I don't think these rooms are connected yet. Inventory full. Yippee. As you undoubtedly heard, the uh, turbine engine room, or the reciprocating engine room, has been, well, this is the hydrogen uh, engine room. So, 
all of the power is produced in this room and I still made it look like the steam still goes inside of uh, inside of it but in this case it's the hydrogen gas so obviously the um, actually you know what uh, let me go to the emergency cockpit shut everything off so I can talk to you without getting uh, our eardrums blasted so as you can see the pistons actually have uh, eight steam uh, steam engines eight hydrogen engines providing all of the power so basically there are 64 hydrogen engines powering the entire thing and as you can also see I do have um, oh right no gravity so I do have these medical rooms inside here just for the just in case you need to you know recharge your battery heal up oxygen hydrogen you name it you can get it from within the engine room at least if you're a part of the crew I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna do recharging elsewhere but you shouldn't have to recharge as a passenger you should just be able to walk around with your helmet off and just enjoy the the ship anywho now yeah that's gonna be a little wonky so here we have the technically this is supposed to be the turbine engine but um oh yeah i didn't this is one of those things where I'm debating, do I include something like hy um, hydrogen uh, tanks or something? But I haven't figured that out. So here is what is supposed to be the electrical room, at least on the Titanic it was. Like the dynamos were right here, and this is what the battery setups here are supposed to represent. Basically, the steam would spin around some dynamos creating enough power to power this entire ship um and if we go back here these were supposed to be additional dynamos had uh, the titanic ever had any need for more um power if i remember correctly one of these was on at any given time uh, the other two would be dedicated to um, as needed throughout the voyage. And then the fourth was kept in reserve just in case uh, something happened to the other three. And then I think they were supposed to like alternate between voyages just to keep the wear and tear to a, um, consistent, I think. Don't quote me on that. At least that's... I've been listening to so many documentaries and videos on the Titanic, it's like... Anywho, but I digress. So, yeah, and then... Yeah, I'm... So, when I say my OCD, I am trying to figure out a, a way to utilize as much space as I can. Energy low. Of course it is. While keeping with, um... While keeping within the, um, design and layout of the actual Titanic. So... I don't think I'm going to be able to just throw gyroscopes wherever I darn well feel like it to utilize the space. I mean, I, in theory I could, but I don't want to just for the simple fact that, again, my OCD, if I'm going to throw down something like a gyroscope, I want it to be accessible for maintenance, for repair, like, I want it to be accessible. like. Usually, I have the cargo containers accessible by hand, but in this case, to keep with the design, I have to cover it up, which... And I know what you're thinking. Why am I using a mod to, uh... Oh, for crying out loud. I forgot. I got rid of my...
Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are you using a mirror mod? Simple. The fact that this thing is so freaking massive, I... <laughs> it was either that or go stir crazy. And when I say stir crazy, can you imagine me trying to form this entire hull in survival? Like, yes, it is doable, but it becomes so freaking tedious. And one of the saving graces with you using that mod if I do this oh I made a mistake it does not grind the other one so I do have to be somewhat attentive but again this is one of those quality of life I still need to have the resources so if I go into inventory here I have 4026 for simplicity's sake I now have 24. So, I still need the materials. But, oh yeah, and I still have to weld it. I, do, do I have to hand weld it? No. I just prefer to do it because this ship was built by hand. So, call me crazy, but, um, hello. <laughs> I freaking built the shell of high charity. And that's out of heavy armor, not light armor. But I digress. So, yeah. So, I'm not sure when I'll get around to doing another progress video, but... So... And of course, my desktop is not available. Well, we're gonna fix that. As my knuckles pop from just resting it on my armrest. Alright, hopefully this doesn't lag too much. But yeah, so I do have blueprints that I'm going off of. And I see how the trunking is supposed to be oriented. I'm, I don't think I'm going to get to the funnels until um, until later. Specifically when... See, I might have to go start do, like looking at the decks and then frame it that way. So, like, this is B deck. Um, yeah, so here's the boat deck, as in the very top of the ship. And here are the casings. Now, the reason they're casings is so that way nobody touches the hot um, smokestack. Literally hot, because... Well, you have the exhaust fumes coming from the boilers, so ergo, yes, they are going to be a little on the warm side. But, so basically, my goal is possibly frame the casings and then work my way down. And so what I mean by I want to be able to keep um, within the designs as well as stick with space engineers while utilizing all the space the smokestacks that is a place i can hide so much because there is no exhaust and i do have oh i thought i hmm oh i might have removed it to because space engineers was giving me grief um this morning well I, or I don't remember the name. Okay, it's not important now, but um, basically for the smokestacks, I think I'm going to hide some uh, generators. So like right here, you can see I do have some hydrogen tanks for storage. It, granted, they're not full in the slightest. I mean, some may have... Yeah, most don't have anything. Oh, well, at least the engines have something, but... So, 
like if I go crud where'd I where'd I stick it oh they might be over here yep hi more hydrogen tanks so I do have some places where hydrogen is and oxygen are stored it's just I want more <laughs> my problem with running um oxygen and hydrogen uh engines is when you lose the resource it, again it's my ocd I, I hate playing factorio in the early game because i don't have production modules to improve the yield but i digress anyhow so where possible i do plan to hide extra things uh gyroscopes i mean I could probably stick gyroscopes on some surfaces, like maybe the, what is technically supposed to be the uh, propeller shafts, which is in fact the hydrogen line, to uh, shoot ox uh, hydrogen into the propellers. I'm just not entirely sure how I'm going to orient the propellers to include the hydrogen uh, thrusters but again it's one of those the uh, hmm. this is why i prefer uh, survival it gives me time to think about it even though i feel as though i i'm not entirely sure about the layout of these just because there is some overlapping but when you look at the propeller shafts and the size of the propellers, I mean, this is accurate. This is accurate. So, eh, again, it, it is very much a work in progress. All of this is still very much a work in progress. Uh, so, my plans, um, again, I'm not sure when I'll get around to doing another um, update. But I think it'll definitely be after I finish the uh, quote-unquote boiler rooms. Which, the nice thing is, other than boiler room 1, or in this case, ice room 1, where there's only one set of boilers, like one side, because this room was, well, small, um, the rest are going to be... Um, basically the same except for uh, boiler room six where it only has four boil double-ended boilers because it was towards the front of the ship where it started curving inward so they couldn't fit a fifth boiler in there but again i digress so and while yes technically the uh watertight doors are supposed to be oriented a little over to the side this is one of the liberties i am taking so again due to my ocd where i wanted an equal number of yeah crap i may end up redoing this actually now that i think about the fact that i could always just move one or two containers oh fudging oh i hate ocd yeah, my phone, my phone is dead charging. So yeah, little little update. Uh, a little. Um, let's see. I've completed the engine room, boiler room. One is for the most part done. I just need to figure out how to trunk it and hide some hydrogen and oxygen. Maybe that's where I'll shove the gyros. No, that'd be weird. But yeah. So basically. Boiler rooms two through five are all going to look um, basically the same. So one, two, three, four, five. These are all going to look the same, basically. Same layout. You can even see I started framing a little bit. Once again, I am looking at the blueprints and making sure I have the uh, coal bunkers, or in this case, the ice bunkers, oriented and sized correctly but yeah this is the one that's going to be uh the smaller one but i digress of course i need to figure out how i'm going to do the or um 
the connection points. I do know I want to do sorters to make sure that only ice goes into these because again this is just there is going to be two uh, yeah two mainly to, probably just one inventory um control there could be two um when i get to the food pantries and storage and all that um maybe that'll be a separate dedicated um piping network for the conveyors just so you don't really have to hand load everything although what are you doing use use an inventory mod that gives you 10x uh space for your uh oh i forgot all right let's turn the power on and i will show you the uh recharging. So, yeah. So, that's the update in a nutshell. Um, yes, I do plan to cut out parts in the ship um, for the portholes, but until I get to the actual construction of the uh, the cabins and other bits and bobs of the ship um, yeah no the hull is going to look like a black um, well a blackboard until I can start poking holes in it so with that said thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video um, yeah don't, don't suggest any more projects um I do have one project in mind that's supposed to happen after the Titanic. Um, I am resisting the urge to uh, fly to my gantry over here and start building it. Um, if you're on Discord, you know what I'm thinking of building. But no, I am not done with Space Engineers. I've been building. It's just the time-lapse videos are uploaded to the No Commentary channel. Um, and apologies if there are any jumping or lag spikes. Um, again, I don't usually record Space Engineers with my main recording software. You just need to see my hand gestures for this one because I, as I was explaining things and uh, yeah, I digress though. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm, Is there something wrong with me? Reinforcements on Actually, don't answer that. I'll just say ready yes. for action. Upgrade in pro. You've let unidentified. <laughs>